The Premier League is back and so am I, baby. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the channel if you are, of course, new here. In today's video, we're going to be ranking every Premier League home shirt for the 23-24 season. We've got a lot to get through, so let's go. Buddy has decided that he would like to also... <laughs> But he has decided he doesn't want to be in the video. He instead wants to go and bark at the postman that delivered a parcel five minutes ago. Anyway, we're going to rank them from bottom to top. So worst to best. Let's start in number 20. I'm going to move this way so that you can see the shirt as I'm talking about it. In number 20 then is Forest. This is potentially the most boring football shirt I've ever seen in my life. I said this over on TikTok and I'm going to say it again here. It looks like you've walked into JD, picked up a red Adidas top, and stuck the Nottingham Forest crest on it. I appreciate that they almost got relegated last season, but could there not have been a little bit more thought into this kit? It's just boring and that's why it's in number 20. Is that lighting better? Okay, well, sorry if the lighting's just changed. In number 19 is Brentford. I like that they've tried to do something different and added the black so it's not just a boring sort of red and white striped shirt as they always do, but it just doesn't work for me. I don't know, maybe it's one of them kits that will look better on the players, it will look better in the flesh, but it's just not my favourite. Also, just a disclaimer, I actually think the home shirts in the Premier League this season are really good. There aren't many bad ones at all, so all of these ones down the bottom are just like the worst of a good bunch, if that makes sense. Up to number 18 is Arsenal. I'm really disappointed in the Arsenal kit this season because I really liked their home shirt last season. But I don't know, there's just a bit too much going on in this for me. I really like the gold accents, but I feel like the gold accents and the red and the pattern in the background is just a bit too much. 17th then is Luton. Something I do like about the Luton kits this year is that they kind of oppose one another. So the home shirt is orange with this white sash, stripe, whatever you want to call it and their away shirt is white with the orange sash. I like the cohesion. But as a shirt, I don't know, I just don't love the colour. I know it's Luton colours, so that's probably a bit offensive, but I don't know, It's just, it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's pretty inoffensive. I'm not the biggest fan of this like slash design that everyone seems to be doing this season. I don't know where that's come from. I know they used to do it like, is it the 90s, 70s? Back in the day, they used to have this vibe. Don't know why I bring it back not the biggest fan. In 16th is Spurs. I never seem to rate Spurs shirts very highly. I feel like it's just because they're pretty standard. It's not that they're the same every year. There's just nothing special about them. This shirt is very inoffensive. I do like a white shirt normally too, so I'm not really sure why it's so low down. I don't know. There's just something about this that it's not boring necessarily because the design makes it a bit more interesting than just a plain white shirt. It's just... It's just inoffensive. There's nothing special about it. However, I have to mention this new font that Spurs are using. The numbers look okay, but the names on the back of the shirts just look so weird. I'll try and find a photo of the back of the shirt so you can see what I mean, but I don't know. I just don't like it. In 15th then is Fulham. Obviously you got the half and half stripes on each sort of shoulder. One red, one white. I like that the shirt only uses three colours and all of those three colours are incorporated into the badge. So black, white and red. And I quite like that they've kept these sort of contrasting black sleeves. I think they had them in the 2021 season. Maybe not last season, but the season before. I think that just, I don't know, I think it looks nice. In 14th then, I've gone with Bournemouth. They've returned to a sort of more classic stripe with a little additional pinstripe down each side of each stripe. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of a striped shirt, but I actually don't mind this. I feel like it looks really smart. Don't love the collar though. I feel like it's really high on the neck. In 13th, and I feel like I could offend some people here, I've gone with Liverpool. So it's retro inspired. It's sort of celebrating their 70s FA Cup winning squads. It's got the Hillsborough Memorial logo printed in the back of the neck, which I think is a really nice touch. However, the reason this is so low down for me is because it's so similar to their shirt from last season, just with the addition of the white around the collar and the sleeves. And also it's just a little bit boring. Like I know there is a design embossed into it, but you can't really see it. So from a far it literally just looks like a plain red kit with a bit of a white stripe on the collar and the sleeves i don't know i just feel like being liverpool 
they could have done something more, you know? In 12th then, I've put Crystal Palace. So this shirt is meant to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of the club's return to the Prem in the 2013-14 season. And the kit from that season was also half red, half blue. So I like that they've brought that back. I'm usually not a fan of these like half and half shirts. I just feel like they look a bit weird, but I actually don't mind this one. I know lots of people don't like it, but I feel like at least they've tried to do something different and that's why it's number 12. In 11th is Man United. The design in the background is the Lancashire Rose, I think, which I think is a nice touch. I also really like the black detailing. I feel like it makes the shirt a little bit bolder, similar to what I think Brentford tried to do, but didn't execute as well. I feel like Man United have executed it nicely. In 10th then, firmly mid-table, definitely not where they're going to finish in the actual league, is Man City. This shirt is supposedly commemorating 20 years at the Etihad and it's really similar to the first kit that they wore in that stadium. There was a nod to their like 2003-2004 kit with a really similar collar and the stripes, the vertical stripes that are going down the body of the shirt. I don't love the stripes going down it and I feel like that's why I've put it at 10th, but overall it's a pretty nice shirt. In 9th, I've gone with Burnley. If you've seen any of my kit rating videos before, you will know that I really like a collar and this shirt is no exception. However, take the collar off and this is basically the Villa kit from the 1920 season. Same sponsor and obviously a very similar, if not the exact same colour scheme. I feel like it's a nice shirt for their return to the Prem. Pretty clean, pretty smart. It's all right. In at number eight is Sheffield United, another return to the Prem kit. Obviously, this doesn't have a sponsor yet and we all know that a sponsor can make or break a shirt, but... Judging from just what we've got so far, I really like this. It's apparently a nod to their like 97, 99 kit and I do feel like it has quite a retro vibe. Again, I like the black detailing. I feel like it makes it bolder than just red and white striped. It's really nice. In seventh place is Brighton. Finally, they have got rid of the H at the front of their shirt. I like that everything is blue and white this year. I feel like it makes for a much cleaner look. However, I'm still not a big fan of the big white block in the middle of the shirt for the sponsor. It is also the blue version of the Sunderland home kit for this year. That's Nike for you, I guess. In at number six, and although I do try and remain unbiased in these videos, I feel like this is a very biased opinion, is Wolves. I'm not going to ramble on too much about it because I've done a full review over on my TikTok, so go watch that if you are interested. Although it is a little bit boring, so don't come for me for being a hypocrite, and it is a little bit similar to the previous season's kit, it's just a very classic wolf shirt. The colour is obviously bang on and I've seen it in person now and it just looks really smart. The thing I kind of don't like about this is that it's just got the typical standard castor like stripe around the collar and the sleeves, which is exactly the same as what's on the Newcastle kit and every other castor kit this season. But overall, it is a really nice kit. In at number five then, and this one pains me a little bit, I've put Villa. It's a nice kit, isn't it? I actually really like the new crest. I feel like it works really well, particularly on this home shirt. And then the design in the background is apparently like a sound wave of a particular fan chant, which I think is a really nice nod to the fans, actually. And it makes it a little bit different from just being like a claret and blue shirt. It's actually got a design on that means something. A new sponsor for them this year, which is a little bit controversial because it's another betting company and there's that new rule in the Premier League about betting company sponsors banned from like 2026 or something. But it doesn't take away from it being a nice kit. In at number four is Everton. Like I mentioned before, I am a big fan of a collar on a shirt and this one just looks so nice. I like that there's a bit of a pattern on the collar, which is also on the sleeves. And I like that everything is just blue or white. It's just two colors, very simple, very classic. In third, and I feel like this one could be a little bit controversial, is Chelsea. No sponsor yet, and as I've said, a sponsor can make or break a shirt, but judging from what we've got right now, it looks really nice. It looks great on the players, and I really like the iridescent badges. I feel like that's really unusual. It's just very Chelsea. Now, my top two were so close, I could easily change them around, but in at second, I've gone with West Ham. When I first saw it, I actually didn't love it, and then I started looking closer, and I was like, actually, this is such a clever shirt it's not just a template kit it's obviously got the bubbles design in the background which is like a nod to the fans just represents west ham football club as a whole really i don't love the collar which is probably what made me put this at second and not first but that is like the most minor thing if i were a west ham fan i would be very happy with this taking the top spot then is newcastle I feel like a lot of people could disagree with me here, but this just makes my head happy. It's obviously monochromatic, black and white. 
like I said before, I'm not usually the biggest fan of striped kits, but I just feel like it's so uniform. We have got the standard castor stripe around the collar and the sleeves, but I feel like on this new cast kit, it works really nicely. They have also got a new sponsor, which is a Saudi company. Very, very fitting for this year. <laughs> but it doesn't ruin the shirt in any way shape or form. This is just such a smart clean shirt and I feel like that's why it's my number one. Here are my final rankings then of the home shirts for the Premier League 23-24 season. Let me know down in the comments if you agree, if you disagree, if you think I've got it completely wrong and I will see you all very very soon and yes the vlogs will be back this season. See you soon, bye!